Aloha, you stormers. We were last looking at Hurricane Iona approaching south of Hawaii. It was a violent major hurricane when it passed about 900 kilometers south of South Point on the Big Island of Hawaii. But following that, it weakened, and now it's just a tropical depression far off to the west. Meanwhile, all sorts of things have been going on, not least the massive Kamchatka earthquake and tsunami, which incidentally at some point must have passed underneath Hurricane Iona. But overnight last night, also on the Pacific Ring of Fire, Lewatobi Laki Laki explosively erupted twice. So we'll take a look at that and some other of the recent eruptions there. The eruptions overnight spurt massive ash clouds through the troposphere. The ash clouds also generated copious lightning strikes. The eruptions were captured by the Himawari 9 satellite, with heat signatures of the lava detected in red. The ash plume makes a spiral pattern, which I think is due to the plume hitting the winds in different levels of the troposphere as it went up through the troposphere. Here is the infrared loop. The first eruption does not get into the colors, indicating that it is lower than the second eruption, which does get into the greens, indicating that the tops were reaching temperatures of minus 50 degrees Celsius. Ash was reported to have fallen on communities surrounding the volcano, shown in these pictures. An unconfirmed report said that the ash started falling at around 2 a.m. last night. Lewatobi Laki Laki is a 1,584 meter high stratovolcano on the island of Flores. It's in the Lesser Sunda Islands volcanic arc. This volcanic arc is shaped by the subduction of the Indo-Australian plate beneath the Eurasian plate. Laki Laki means man in Indonesian and is twinned with the Kama but the higher 1703 meter volcano named Perem Puan after the Indonesian word for woman. Often described, the two together are described as husband and wife. Here you can see that Laki Laki, the man, is the smaller of the two mountains. Lewatobi has had a number of impressive eruptions over the last couple of years. It's been extremely active. I'll just share some satellite loops that I've made over the last number of months and years of some of them here. The latest spate of eruptions actually began back in December 2023. Two major eruptions occurred on the 7th of July 2025, ejecting debris as far as 8 kilometers away and producing pyroclastic flows and an ash cloud 13 kilometers high. Going back in time from the present day, there was an explosive eruption on the 17th of June 2025. I didn't save any satellite loops, but this is a video of the plume and it went up to a height estimated at 16 kilometers. This loop shows another eruption on the 19th of May, 2025. And then another eruption occurred on the 21st of March, 2025. This sulfur dioxide loop shows a plume even bigger than the one last night, passing westwards across Flores Island. The infrared loop shows the eruption cloud briefly cooling to minus 80 Celsius, indicating an extremely deep troposphere filling plume. On the 7th of November 2024, we had this one. I did make a satellite loop for the eruption continued also for the following days, but this was a really big eruption. Then on the 12th of November, 2024, Laki Laki erupted again. So there you have it, folks. Lower Toby is quite something. I just wanted to share a few of the loops I've saved over some bit of time. And we're going to have to keep and continue to have a close eye on it as it just keeps on blowing its top. Hey, we're posting satellite animations and images on the Ustorm Twitter, Blue Sky Threads, Mastodon, Facebook, and of course on our Discord where you can share your weather pictures and maybe win a picture competition.
Links for these are in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really gives us a boost. See you in the next one.